Hey guys, it's Elisa, and um, I'm just going to start off and say I have a lot of requests, and not only do I have a lot of requests, but the requests are starting to become, well, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are starting to become really, really long, like extremely long, like pages and pages, and it's like come from a, a couple of people or like a good handful of people now, and you know, it's something... Like, I'm not going to start charging money or anything, but literally, like, the stories that I'm getting in, the situations that I'm getting in, the things that I'm being asked to do and asked to analyze are starting to become very, very, like, demand, not demanding, but just a lot. Like, things that you would take to a person who you are paying. And, you know, for me, like, I, I love it when I get emails or messages saying, like, hey, you know, this happened to me, he said this, she said this, she posted this, what does it mean? Like, how do I get through this? Like, what is this? That's cool. I love helping people with those kind of situations, but lately it's been literally, like, pages, <laughs> like, like, books, and, um, I just don't have the time. Like, I'm a college student, I'm, not to mention I'm on vacation right now. Um, this is just a hobby, and I really do love helping people, I do, but please keep in mind that I am not obligated to help anyone because I'm not l licensed, I'm not, and I'm not getting paid for it, so, um, I really do want to help you guys, but please remember that I'm just a kid, I'm just doing this from a hobby, like, as a hobby, and I'm not really, like, you know, the for like, a page is okay, <laughs> like, if the page is, like, that big, but it's literally, like, scrolling and scrolling, and it's come from a couple people now, and it's just getting to be a little too much, and it's really starting to, like, stress me out, so please keep in mind, um, like, if I helped you once, that's awesome, but, you know, if you just keep the requests coming in and just get, like, sending me millions of pictures and screenshots, like, I understand one screenshot, but, like, 30 screenshots, I just guys i'm just a kid <laughs> so anyways i am gonna do a request that i received i just wanted to let y'all know what i just said like what i just said i just want to get that out there that way y'all know that like if i don't answer you it's because it's probably way over my head or maybe i am gonna get around to it eventually but right now i am on vacation i am back home in germany where i grew up i haven't been here in five years i'm helping my grandmother because my grandfather just passed away so i'm really trying to get everything together right now not really trying to scroll through five pages of text and analyze every date and time and every screenshot and everything and not throwing shade. I really do want to help you guys. Please keep in mind and remember who you're talking to. If you can't find advice from me or if you can't seek it from me or if I'm not responding, keep in mind there are psychologists out there. There are therapists. There are counselors. Like There's real people out there, not just a 19-year-old who makes YouTube videos as a hobby but I do appreciate you running it by me because it shows that you trust me and I love that you trust me but I also this is just a hobby of mine but I am going to do a request I received and it's it's a short request really nice um I received it on Instagram and I'm gonna keep it anonymous but it says let me find it okay I haven't read it yet by the way hi Elisa I'm 18 years old my ex-boyfriend and I broke up a long time ago it's been about 10 months, but I'm still nowhere near over him. We have small talk. We have small talk every now and then when one of us cracks and texts the other, but we aren't friends slash follow each other on any kinds of social media. We were together for a year and a half and were each other's first loves. We were also the only people that the other person has slept with, so that made the relationship all the more special. We had something that nobody else can say that they have, and that's each other's virginities and each other's opportunity to be each other's first loves. It was a beautiful relationship, and I spent every minute missing it. He broke up with me because he said he didn't know what he wanted anymore. He sounded hesitant when he broke up with me, but considering it's already been nine months, I'm starting to think he made the right decision for himself. Um, I've never suffered from any kinds of mental disorders until about six months ago when I was diagnosed with depression, but I didn't need a diagnosis to tell me that. My personality withered away and my world turned to gray. I accepted that he was gone, but I couldn't help but see him in every boy that I laid eyes on. I even hooked up with a few guys since him, and I found myself picturing my ex the whole time. Um, I've dated new boys, I've made new friends. I've created a new lifestyle for myself, but everything points back to him, and I hate it. I want nothing more than to be over him, but to be over him. I hate that he's okay without me. I don't know what he's been up to, and I try not to know. 
I just want something from you, anything. I don't have a specific question, but you have a way with words, thanks. And I just hear something, I just want to hear something because my friends keep telling me it's been too long, get over it. I heard you say in one of your videos that you got really sick after your breakup, but you seem to have made it out okay. I'm not sure how you did that when it seems every day seems the same, when every day seems the same at this point. I'm not sure what to do about anything anymore. I just want my relationship back. Keep up your awesome videos. You're making a huge difference in people's lives. Thanks so much um, for all the kind words and for detailing, deep, detailing, for, for telling me your story in detail. I don't know a way to make that into an adjective, but, um, so I definitely understand what you're going through and, um, you're probably already gonna predict that I'm gonna say it's exactly my situation or it was, you know, I'm over everything that happened to me, but if you would have asked me a couple months ago, I would have typed probably something very similar to this. Um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna um, skim through it and point out some things that I've noticed. So the fact that you guys were each other's first loves and you took each other's virginities, that definitely will make it harder to move on for sure because, you know, most people, when we have sex with someone for the first time, it's because we see ourselves being with them forever. That's just a thing. Like, it's because we are confident we're going to marry them. We're confident they're going to have our kids one day. So why not just have sex with them now if we already know that we're going to be with them forever, right? So it really, it's not just like a mental thing. Like, I'm mentally in love with this person. Like, you're spiritually bonded to this person. You're emotionally bonded to this person. Like, sex literally. Um, okay, so something religious that I learned and it's really cool so um you know how people say pop the cherry like if you have sex for the first time and you bleed well blood signifies the end like Jesus you know when he was bleeding on the cross that's when he died blood signifies the end of something so when you have sex with someone and you pop the cherry and you bleed it signifies the end of your search to find someone because you finally found the person that's something super cool that I learned and it's not even like a metaphor that's like literally like the translation like you bleed because it's you're at the end of your search you found who you're looking for and now your search is over therefore you're bleeding to signify the end and I learned that in church obviously so it's a very religious thing but I am a very religious person so I do believe that sex has 100% to do with everything with moving on it's very very hard to have to move on from someone that you had sex from because you fell in love with them you saw forever with them and sometimes you know when they leave we have no choice but to accept it literally there's no other choice we can't try to keep them in our lives we can't try to keep them as our boyfriend or girlfriend we can't try to keep them around if they don't want to be so we have to let them go no matter how much we want to keep them so I know it's hard but there's there's no but like, I know it's hard, but nothing. Like, it's gonna be hard, and it's gonna stay hard. And that brings me to the next point I want to make where you said, I heard you say in one of your videos that you got really sick after the, your breakup, but you seem to have made it out okay. I'm not sure how you did that when every day seems the same. How I did it, I just did. There's no secret. Um, I told y'all in one of my videos that there's no way over it, there's no way under it, and there's no way around it. The only way to get through it is to go through it that's the only thing you just have to go through it like it can't get any more simpler than that like every time you're depressed you can't just you just have to do it you just have to be depressed every time you're crying your eyes out don't, you can't just try to like stop no you have to let it out so to let yourself cry and like let yourself hurt every time you're in the moment and you're like yeah I'm moving on I'm so happy you know if you're at a concert or a party and you feel like you're on top of the world embrace that moment but also embrace the moments where you're like I'm never gonna get over him like you have to just everything you go through you just have to embrace it you have to wear it on your shoulders and that's something that's the only thing that you can do Sometimes, you know, there were times where I was really miserable and I just wanted to go talk to someone or I just wanted to go this, go that, but sometimes you just have to just let it take its course. And I know it sounds so simple, like, oh, okay, so I just do nothing. That's right, do nothing. I cannot tell you the amount of tears I've shed in my bed. Like, I cannot tell you the amount of drinks I've consumed just to forget about my ex-boyfriend. Like, there's gonna be times where you just don't know what to do, but that's what you do. The thing that you do is not know what to do. You just have, it's okay to be confused. It's okay to be lost. It's okay to be heartbroken. Because remember, we're young. I don't know if you said, you're 18. You're 18. You're a kid. I'm a kid. 
we're gonna be kids for a long time. So it's totally normal to feel everything that we're feeling and to go through everything that we're going through. You know, if we were 25, 30, 35, it's different. It is because that's when you start, you know, having kids, getting married, buying a house together. But right now, we still have school, we still have degrees, we still have to figure out what we want in life. There's no time for boys, you know. Every time I'm just miserable and down and out about my ex-boyfriend, which doesn't happen anymore, I would always tell myself, dude, what are you crying about? You're 19. Like, you're just a kid. It was just one boy. There's gonna be so many more, and there were. After my ex, I dated a bunch of guys. I'm still dating guys now, and I'm having a great time. And you just have to remember, even though these boys point back to your ex, like you said in this message, that means you're still in love with him, which is okay. You're gonna probably be in love with him for a very long time. A part of you is always gonna hang on to him because he took your virginity, he was your first love, y'all were together for a year and a half, like, the, the, so many monumental things happened, and it's, I would be worried if you would totally just forget about him. If you were to say, hey, Elisa, you know, we were together for a year and a half, we had sex, we were each other's first sex experience, you know, we were each other's first loves, and now I'm, like, completely over him, I'm, like, sleeping with a bunch of guys, blah, 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 like, I would be worried if you would be excited about that, but it's the fact that you're, you're, like, fine, or you're not fine, I'm sorry, it's the fact that you're not fine that makes me, like, whew, okay, because that means that you really loved him, and that's a good thing. Something that I always tell my friends who are in pain, embrace it, embrace the pain, like, I don't want to sound like a hippie, I don't want to sound like like a weird like person but like sometimes you just have to embrace the pain because honestly there's nothing else to do there's no other option you just have to say look I'm in pain but look how well I'm doing it I'm in pain but look how good I beat my face this morning I'm in pain but look at this A that I got on my exam I'm in pain but look at this mile that I just ran in the gym look at these thigh muscles look at these biceps look at everything like I'm in pain but I'm doing it the best because that's probably the difference, and that's the third point that I want to make. That's the difference between you and your ex. If you are in pain, and if you embrace it, you are way ahead of him. Because you said here, um... Hold on. I hate that he's okay without me. I don't know what he's been up to. I try not to know. You don't know what he's been up to, and you don't know if he's fine without you. He could be miserable. He could be, like, crazy depressed. He could be feeling the same exact way you are. But guess what? He's not watching this video, so he doesn't know what to do with all this pain that he's feeling. Boys and girls, and if you watch my first couple YouTube videos on relationship stuff, I talk about the difference between how boys cope and how girls cope. Girls cope naturally by just hanging out with their friends a lot, having a lot of girls night, girls nights out, girls night outs, GNOs, drinking a lot, like dancing, dating new boys, like it's a very social kind of pain, like, hey everybody, I'm in pain, but I'm doing something with myself, but boys are so different with the way that they hurt. They don't tell anybody they're hurting. Even their closest bros, they don't tell. Some boys do. Some boys, you know, are very comfortable with sharing their feelings, but the boys that I know, you know, I live in South Carolina, and all the boys are like, they just, I don't know. I go to a very, um, the boys at my school are typically very privileged, you know, USC is a very, like, preppy school, like, a lot of white kids with, like, money, like, and not to be racist, but that, that is USC, like, there are, a good amount of other races and stuff, and I love all of them. They're all super cool, all the ones that I met, but typically the school is a majority white preppy boys whose parents have a lot of money, and so the boys, you know, every time they're in pain, the boys that I know, the boys that I've met this past year, they just, they get drunk. They just go out with their friends, they hook up with a bunch of girls, and they just get drunk. But at the end of every night, I've always gotten a message from one of my guy friends, dude, what is she up to? Like, what is she doing? Like, they still love and care about the girls sometimes, but they just express it totally different. They don't say, hey, boys, can we go out tonight? I'm in my feelings. Or, hey, boys, can we watch uh, The Bachelorette because I'm in my f No, it's just, hey, guys, let's go get drunk. I'm not going to tell you why. I just want to. So remember that guys and girls hurt so different. Even though you don't know what he's doing, how he's feeling, what he's saying, just know that after a year and a half of being each other's first loves, first sex, first everything, there is going to be pain on both sides. Now, it has been nine months, so I don't know how much pain there's left. If you truly love someone, or if you really did love someone, the pain will last a very long time, especially depending on how the breakup ended. But after nine months, boys typically do a lot better, but I don't know. I really don't know. All the boys that I know that have, like, ended relationships, 
they've they were already in a new relationship by nine months so I could never ask and say hey how are you doing like how are you coping because they would just say oh I found a new girl so like I don't really know how like how long it takes for guys to move on it just depends on the girl and on the relationship and how the breakup was handled but um you said there was still small talk which is good you don't follow each other on social media which is good because that's just unnecessary pain um so you say you don't have a specific question but i have a way with words your friends keep telling you it's too long get over it i hate i hate that my friends told me the very same thing, even like three months after the breakup. Oh, at least it's been three months. Three months is nothing. It takes some people years to heal. So next time your friends say it's been too long, get over it. Just say, look, what the hell does f do feelings and time, like what's the correlation between them? There's not. It's not like there's this computerized system in your heart that says, okay, after three months, you will cry 10 less tears and after six months you will only cry once a week like there's no there's no like scale there's no way of counting or measuring it there's no correlation between time and feelings feelings are literally just self-operative if that's even a word like once one thing i said in one of my videos was that god made all the greatest things that you cannot see like love like trust like the feeling you get when you're about to go downhill on a roller coaster like the adrenaline like all the coolest most mesmerizing feelings or even the most scary feelings like whoo like a horror movie like ah, ghost like all the the most i don't know how to say it like moving feelings like that you experience they're all invisible and it's all things that god created like god like created like attraction like I said, love, trust, like, honor, truth, like, all the feelings that you can give or get or anything, they're all invisible because they're not, they're not tangible. Like, I don't know how to word what I'm trying to say, but time isn't invented by God. Humans invented time when we invented a clock. There was no such thing as time. There was just such thing as a clock, if you think about it. So God invented feelings and love and, you know, the feeling of wanting to be with someone forever. But he didn't invent time. So when did a human come around and say that it's okay for you to take something so beautiful that God made and match it up with something that humans created? You don't do that. You don't take God's love that he instilled in you for someone else, which, by the way, God created that spark in between, y'all, and then just say, okay, um, here's some time that humans created. I'm just going to mix them together and say, okay, in six months you'll be over him. That's not how it works feelings and time have nothing to do with each other i know someone who is it's been like 20 years and he's still not over his ex he's married now i told you all about that in another video this guy he was married no he was dating this woman um they broke up he never told her how he felt he remarried and he told me i love my new wife or i love my wife but i don't love her as much as i loved my ex and it's been 20 years and he still loves her but they haven't talked and it's all because he was too afraid to tell her how he felt so just remember like if someone says it's been too long, there's no time in this equation. It's just feelings, and that's and that's something I'm very adamant about. You know, yeah, after a couple, a long, long time, you know, there there is a point where you should stop crying or coping as much and start putting yourself out there but that doesn't mean that you could stop that you should stop feeling anything for your ex it's okay to feel things for your ex because that's natural you can't force yourself to get over someone you can't you can you can force yourself to have sex with people you can force yourself to hook up with people you can force yourself to go on dates with new people hell you can even force yourself to marry someone new and end up with them and have kids with them and build your life with them but if your heart is not there then it's not there so just remember that there's no correlation between time and feelings none my arm is like itching so bad right now and i don't know why okay um that's pretty much all i have to say embrace the pain i know there's not really like a concrete idea of what to do now but if you watch my video i've just been dumped now what or i'm newly single or how to handle a breakup i have like four or five videos on what to do after a breakup and even though this has been it's been nine months for you you can still take these things and apply it to yourself it's all about starting you said you started a new lifestyle and i understand that like you know, you're probably like, oh, what else can I do? I've already done all these things. Well, just maybe you need to keep trying new things. And eventually, you know, once your head starts getting involved in new things, your heart will eventually follow it. It might take a while. But if you are absolutely, absolutely 
at the end of your line, contact your ex. Say, look, I don't know what's wrong with me, and I don't know why I feel the way that I do, but I want to talk to you. Who knows? Maybe he's going to say, you know what? I've been wanting to talk to you, too. Someone left a comment on one of my YouTube videos, and I forgot who said it or on what video it was, but the comment says, that's the problem between men and women. They are always waiting for each other to contact the other person first. Maybe he's waiting for you to contact him. Maybe you're waiting for him to contact you. Well, you guys are going to keep waiting until you end up with completely wrong people when you guys could be each other's soulmates. You don't know, and you have nothing to lose by contacting him. Look, it's, it's scary because it's like, oh, what if I get rejected? What if he doesn't want to talk to me? Well, then now you know. Now you know. And you know what? It feels like you're cornered at that point. Like, oh, my God. You know, because right now I have a feeling that all your hopes are in the fact or in the um, thought that he's going to come back to you. And you're scared to contact him because what if he doesn't want you back? What if I have to face the truth and he really is over me or he really doesn't love me anymore? Well, guess what? Like I said in three of my other videos, it's like blacklighting. The answer is already written on the wall whether or not he still loves you or misses you or wants to be with you. It's already there. He already has that feeling. All you can do is figure out what it is, what the answer is, by shining the light on it. Whether or not you find out or you don't, his answer is not going to change, so you might as well just go discover what the answer is. Say, look, I have nothing else to lose. I miss you, and I just want to talk to you. And he's either going to say, I'm sorry, you know, it's in the past, well, then now you know. And you know what? That little bit of closure that you're going to get is going to probably be what sets you free. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's going to hold you back. But at least now you know. And now you can freely move on, even though it might take a long time. Or he's going to say, look, I, I want you back. You know, let's talk. Let's get together. Let's have coffee. And then, you know, then your whole life will go in a completely different direction. But you're not going to know until you ask and until you find out. So that's my advice embrace the pain time and feelings have no correlation um you don't know how he's hurting boys and girls hurt differently don't know how it is after nine months but every person's different and lastly um talk to him and find out if that's on your heart um in my last video or my second to last video i talked a lot about how god gives us nudges in life you know there's a lot of paths that God wants us to take and if we listen very closely to him and if we follow the nudges that he puts in our heart like Psst, turn here or Psst, take a left here if we keep following the directions we are going to end up very happy but if we keep doing what we think is best for us we are not going to end up where we are supposed to be just where we put ourselves to be and that's why the quote what's meant to be will be is not true because that's not true you choose where you be and you can choose it by either listening to God or listening to yourself and I promise you Historically, God has a lot like more knowledge than you do, and he has a lot more love for yourself than you could ever imagine that you have for yourself. So listen to him. If he's putting something on your heart, follow it. And listen, like if he's putting it on your heart to talk to him, it's either because God wants you to have the closure of being rejected or because God wants you guys to be back together. It, it, like whatever comes out of it is going to be good for you because that's what God wanted for you. So if this is on your heart, go do it. That's pretty much all I need to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want to contact me, my stuff is down below. Please keep in mind though what I said in the beginning of the video. I'm just 19, not a doctor, not a counselor. I do accept long requests, but if I don't answer or if I don't do a video, I'm either going to get around to it or it's just completely too much for me to do because like I said, this is free. This is very time consuming, believe it or not. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Good luck. Let me know how everything goes and just follow your heart or follow your head and your heart will go with it. So peace out guys. Bye.